One other set of actions we want to look at, number 67, the right guard, he's going to pull to the left, and then he's going to get cut by the defensive end. Now, this action would not be considered the initial line charge. It would be a second act, really, and therefore the defender is not allowed to block below the waist in this case, and this would be a foul for a block below the waist on the defense. Similarly, if the offensive lineman pulls, that's a second act, and so not part of the initial line charge. So number 67 here could not block low against the defender unless the block was directed from the front, still in the tackle box, and the ball had not left the tackle box. A couple of closing thoughts. Remember that a block below the waist is a block in which the force of the initial contact is below the waist of an opponent. And a blocker who makes contact above the waist and then slides below the waist has not blocked below the waist. Now, I hope this video has been helpful. And coaches, if you have questions, please reach out to your coordinator or feel free to reach out to me and you can see my contact information here. Best of luck to all as we start up our summer practices. And I hope